Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today on Dynamo BIM. Today, we're going to be talking about something pretty awesome, I think. When I was a BIM manager and had my own models that I was managing, I hated having to manage view filters. It's almost impossible to manage. First off, it doesn't come up in the purge unused, right? So if I look at the purge unused dialog box here, nothing about view filters in this dialog. Not only that, if I go to the view filters list, it doesn't tell me if they're in use. It doesn't tell me, you know, kind of like view templates where up in the top right corner, it says views with this view template. Wouldn't that be really nice here within this dialog box? I don't get that. So I don't know whether the view filter is in use. And look at this horrible list I have, right? You can see that maybe some were imported. I can't select them in mass, right? So when I hold shift or control, I can't select more than one. And so I have to go through and I have to delete each one individually. And once again, I don't even know whether it's in use. So we're gonna use Dynamo to optimize this process. Let's get started. I have my blank canvas here in Dynamo. In one of the last few episodes of Dynamo Shorts, we talked about getting our views, right? And separating views and view templates. That's not what I want here. I actually want to get all of my views and view templates and see if a view filter is in use in either one. Okay, so let's do that really quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the category of views, right? Category by name, which is typically how I go ahead and get this, unless it's something that I would like my user to select and edit uh, to specify as their category. I'll always just go ahead and hardwire it, get all elements of the category. In this case, I'm getting all elements of the category of views. In this case, it reports uh, some views that I don't want, like the project browser. So I'm just going to do a list clean, list.clean. Clean would probably also be found pretty easily within the list. And I need to tell it to not preserve the indices. So I'll just throw a quick false Boolean on there. Now I have my list. In this case, I'm in the sample file and I have uh, 46 views. You probably have roughly the same if you're in the sample file. I've probably added a few views as I've added the view filters because it didn't start with any. So using Dynamo, I went ahead and created view filters. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see on a Dynamo short episode, how to create view filters. And we can talk about that as well. So in this case, I am going to simply ask my views, these 46 elements, whether a view has a view filter set to it. So under view, I can go to view and I believe under here you can add a filter, right? Which I was talking about. Or you can even ask it whether it has a filter. So if I just plug my cleaned list view to view there and look at this list, you'll see that I'm getting a few elements reported here. So I did assign some filters to some view templates and a view. So essentially what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flatten this list, essentially remove all of my empty lists there, get it all individual, and I'm going to find the unique filters, right? Because I've assigned to some view templates I essentially have some view filters that repeat. So I'm going to do a list at unique, find the unique items in this list. And you'll see that rather than seven being reported, we actually have three. So now I know these are the view filters that are in use. Maybe I want to know what their name is, right? Element.name, not element.sname, element name that wants to be found there we go and we can see here that we have a, a few different elements that are being used in this case our view filters and maybe we just want to go ahead and display this I like to create a group in gray for my reporting 
groups and say these are the view filters in use. All right, so now I know in this specific project, in this specific scenario, I have three view filters in use. So now I can query this against the entire list of view filters. So let's get our view filters. And to do that, we're actually going to look at the Revit selection of element types. So I'm going to look at element types and get all elements of this type. This is actually something that you don't need to hardwire. It doesn't behave kind of the same way as categories. So we can kind of trust this drop down a little bit more, thankfully. Tie my filter elements into my element types. And you can see we have 47 filter elements. So once again, I'll look at the element names here. And we can look at all of the individual names being used. So essentially, once again, I need to query this list against the list of filters that are in use, right? These are all of my view filters within the project. So I'll just say, oh, goodness, I can't type today. View filters and project, right? So here, essentially, I can ask these elements if or where these elements live in the list. So I'm going to get the index of item. And essentially, what this allows me to do is look at these elements against this list. And you can see that in this list, these unique view filters come up as index 12 index zero and index one. So if I look here, these three elements, zero, one, and 12, I do not want to delete because they are in use. So essentially in my list that I'm gonna push to be deleted, I want to remove these indices. So I can look and find remove remove item at index. And if I look at these as my indices against this as my list, you can see it drops my list from 44, I'm sorry, from 47 to 44. So these are the view filters that are not in use. So now I can do whatever I want with these elements, right? In this case, I want to go ahead and delete them. I'm going to purge all unused, right? So all of the view filters that are not reported either by a view template or by a view, I'm going to do element.delete. Push this list over to these elements to be deleted. And now you'll see if I go into my view filters list, I only have the three that are in use. So by utilizing Dynamo, we're able to get our view filters down to only the view filters in use. I don't need to go through and individually delete them. And I wouldn't know which ones are in use, right? So Dynamo allows me to get down to the list of elements that are not in use and delete only those elements. Thank you so much for watching today. Make sure you let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see in the next Dynamo short.